Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. This video will, is going to contain the previous year questions of TCS NQT exam of the quantitative aptitude section. Now the exam was conducted a couple of months back, I think so in November, it was uh, October end, okay, it was conducted. And the questions that have come in that exam, we are going to check out a few questions of quantitative aptitude section. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon. And you can even join our telegram channel for regular updates and practice questions. So let's start with the questions over here in this video. A man has to travel 50 kilometers in two hours. He could cover 20 kilometers in one hour and then had to stop for 10 minutes for refueling. By what factor should he increase his speed with reference to that of the first hour so as to be able to complete the journey as per schedule? Now we have to find out the factor by which he should increase the speed. If we find out the second speed and then the first speed and if we take the ratio, we are going to get the factor. Okay. Now, in the first speed which is there, it is going to be the distance covered in the first case upon the time in first case. Distance covered in the first case is 20 kilometers and the time is the first hour. Okay. So, the speed comes out to be 20 kilometers per hour. So, half the problem is done. Now comes the second problem. Okay. Second half. Over here, what happens is how much distance is remaining? Second case distance upon time in second case distance remaining is 30 kilometers, right? And the time remaining is 10 minutes uh, have gone for refueling. So only 50 minutes remain. So 50 minutes, I'm going to convert it into hours by dividing by 60. So what I'm going to get is 30 into 60 divided by 50. So this gets cancelled out and 5 into 12. So that comes out to be 36 kilometers per hour, right? So this is 36 kilometers per hour. So the speed ratio comes out to be 36 upon 20. So 4 9s are, 4 5s are, that comes out to be 1.8. So answer is option B. So the factor by which he should increase the speed with reference to the speed of the first R is 1.8. That means the second speed has to be 1.8 times the first R speed. If x plus 10 percent of 240 is 60 percent more than x percent of 180, then 15 percent of x plus 20 is what percent less than 25 percent of x? First, what we are going to do is first we are going to find these values. Okay, then it becomes easier to solve this question. Okay, so what is this first part? X plus 10 percent of 240. It is going to be x plus 10 divided by 100 because percentage sign means divide by 100 multiplied by 240. Of means multiplication. So what I'm going to get over here actually is 2.4 into x plus 10. So if I open the bracket, I'm going to get 2.4x plus 24. Okay. Now next, this is x percent of 180 that is x upon 100 multiplied by 180 that is going to be 1.8x. This is going to be 15 upon 100 into x plus 20. Okay. So uh, percentage sign is divided by 100 of means multiplication. So I get 0 0.15 into x plus 20. Okay. So if I open the bracket, I'm going to get 0.15x plus 20 into 0.15 comes out to be 3 and 25% of x comes out to be 0.25x. Now it becomes easier to visualize the question. Now this value which is there, it is 60% more. Okay. So how much percent more is given? So how to find out percentage of more? How much is the more value divided by the original value or the comparison value? Okay multiplied by 100 is going to give you the more percentage, right? So now over here, how much is more? How to find out more? It is, this value is more, correct? So it is going to be 2.4x plus 24. This minus original value, which is nothing but 1.8x, 1. 1. okay? As compared to the original value, that is 1.8x because this value, which is there, it is greater than this value, okay? By 60%. So into 100 and how much is the more percent? It is 60 percent, right? So it is only 60 over here. So how do we convert? How do we find more percentage? What we have actually is more value. Okay. We convert it into percentage. So we for that we multiply by 100 and you divide by the original comparison value. Okay. So more value which is there is 2.4x minus how much is it is like you can visualize this as how much is 2.4x plus 25 more than 1.8x okay how much more it is this minus this okay and then we have to convert this subtraction which we get this into percentage right so this is what we are doing over here 
So what we'll have is we'll cancel this out. This is going to be 5. This is going to be 3. And then 2.4x minus 1.8x is going to be 0.6x plus 24. And you're going to multiply by 5 over there. And 3 into 1.8 comes out to be 5.4x. So if I multiply, I'm going to get 3x plus 24 into 5. So that uh, 24 into 5, I'll keep as it is. I won't multiply right now. And this is going to be 5.4x. So 5.4x minus 3x is 2.4x. So I'll get 24 into 5 will be equal to 2.4x. 2.4 1s are 2.4 10s are. So 10 into 5 is 50. So value of x comes out to be 50. Okay. So now we have to find out 0 0.5, 0 0.15x plus 3 is what percent less than this. So but obvious this is the greater value. How much it is less? Minus 0.15x plus 3. Okay. This much is less amount okay this much is the less amount right this minus this so it comes out to be 0.25x minus 0.15x minus 3 okay that is 0.1x minus 3 okay this is the less amount fine 0.1x minus 3 is the less amount we have to convert this into percentage because they are asking percentage less right so how to convert it into percentage 0.1x i'll put value of x as 50 over here. So 0 0.1 into 50 minus 3 that is 5 minus 3 comes out to be 2. Okay. So 2 upon we have to compare to 0.25x. So I'll write over here 0.25x multiplied by 100. Right. So it is 2 upon 0 0.25 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 100. So 51s are 52s are that comes out to be 4 upon 0 0.25 that comes out to be 16 percent is the answer. Option A. This question actually looks really complicated but it is very easy it is a simple percentage question okay where they are asking percentage more and percentage less values okay so how to find percentage more and percentage less the technique is very easy first you find how much is the value more then you convert this into percentage same way over here the formula for that is this okay same way you have to find how much is the value less and then you have to convert this less into percentage which you did over here okay so it's very easy only thing is that we have to do it in reverse because percentage more and percentage less values are given so we have to find out how much it is more from there we get the value of x and then we have to find out how much it is less and again find the percentage that is 16 percent option a what is the sum in rupees which when divided among x y z in the proportion 3 is to 5 is to 7 provides rupees 8000 more to z than what it would have done to him when the proportion is 11 is to 15 is to 90. So there are three people. Okay. The money is divided among them in this ratio. Okay. So Z gets how much? Okay. Share of Z I'm going to write. Share of Z is going to be what? Number associated with Z is 7. So 7 upon add all the ratio values. 3 plus 5 plus 7. Now I don't know the original sum. So let that sum be X rupees. Correct. So as compared to the original sum. Okay. Share of Z in the original sum will be what? 7 divided by 3 plus 5 plus 7. So that comes out to be 7x upon 5, 7 plus 3 is 10, 15. Okay. This much rupees is the share of z. But if, if this money x is distributed in this ratio, 11 is to 15 is to 19. How much would be the share of z in that case? Share of z in that case would be 19 upon 11 plus 15 plus 19. Okay. In x. Okay. This is the total amount as compared to that 19 is the share of z. So that is going to be 19x upon 19 plus 11 is 30, 45. Okay, rupees. But they have already given that in this case, okay, this case, the amount is 8000 rupees more. That means this minus 19x, okay, upon 45 will be equal to 8000 rupees. Because if the, if the ratio is 3 is to 5 is to 7, z is going to get 8000 rupees more, okay, as compared to the ratio 11 is to 15 is to 19. So this comes out to be the equation. Okay, this is share of z when the ra when the ratio is this, and this is share of z when the ratio is going to be 11 is to 15 is to 19. Okay, and in that case, in the first case, he is getting 8000 more. So LCM comes out to be 45. 7 threes are is 21x minus 19x would be equal to 8000 rupees. So this comes out to be 2x will be equal to 45 into 8000. Okay. So that comes out to be 4000 over here and x comes out to be 45, 4s are 180 and then 3 zeros. Okay. 
So answer is option A. This is the sum. The marks scored by a student out of 100 in English and Mathematics at four consecutive monthly tests held in 2019 are presented through a bar graph given below. In each case, the marks is a multiple of 5. Okay. In which month is the difference of marks scored in the two subjects highest? That means difference in marks of English and Math has to be highest. Over here, if you observe, this is 75 and this is 65. Difference is 10. Over here, it is 75. This is 60. Difference is 15. Over here, 80 and 60. Difference is 20. And over here, it is 70 and 85. Difference is 15. Clearly, we can see that the difference is highest for the month of Feb. Option C is the answer. If the positive square root of root 90 plus root 80, okay, is multiplied by under root of 2 minus 1 and the product is raised to the power of 4, the result would be. So, sort of positive square root of under root of 90 plus under root of 80, it is going to get multiplied by under root of 2 minus 1 and this product which is there, it is going to be raised by 4 and we have to find the answer. The best way, TCS provides you a calculator. Use the calculator and get the answer in hardly 20 seconds. Do not waste time in trying to simplify this. Okay. TCS provides you a virtual calculator. Answer would be 10. Option D is 10. Okay. Using the calculator, you are going to get an approximate answer of 9.87, something like that, whatever is there. So that is nothing but approximately 10. What is the mean proportional between the mean proportionals of 2 by 7 and 3, 32 by 343 and 2 and 1 upon 5000. Now, what is mean proportional? Say we have A, A is to B is to C as the three numbers, okay, which are in the ratio A is to B is to C. So, we can write it as A upon B is equal to B upon C. So, we get B square is equal to AC and B will be equal to under root of AC, where B is the mean proportional, okay. So, first we have to find the mean proportional of these two numbers, then we have to find mean proportional of these two numbers and then we have to find out the mean proportional of these two mean proportionals, okay. So, over here A is this, C is this. So, B is going to be under root of 2 by 7 multiplied by 32 upon 343, okay. So, what I am going to get over here is 2 into 2 into 16, it is going to be divided into 7 raised to 4, 343 is 7 cube, so 7 raised to 4, so outside it is going to be 7 square square root of 2 into 2 is 2 and square root of 16 is 4. So, I get this 8 upon 49 as the answer over here. Now, this is the first mean proportional. Okay. Let's find out the second mean proportional. It is going to be the under root of 2 multiplied by 1 upon 5000. Okay. So, that comes out to be 2500. So, that is going to be under root of 1 upon 2500. That will be equal to 1 upon 50. Okay. This is the second mean proportional. Now, we have to find out the mean proportional between 1 upon 50 and 8 upon 49. So, this is going to be A, this is going to be C. So, B is going to be what? Final answer is going to be 1 upon 50 multiplied by 8 upon 49. So, if you for 2 fours are and 2 into 25. So, what do you get answer? Square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 49 is 7 that comes out to be 2 upon 35. Okay, this is the mean proportional. This is the required answer. Option C is the answer. If 5 raised to x into 3 raised to y is 225 into 405, find the value of x raised to 2y minus 3x. Okay, so over here what you are going to have is 5 raised to x into 3 raised to y would be equal to 225. What I am going to write over here is 25 multiplied by 9. Okay, and 405 I am going to write is 5 into 5 8s are 5 1s are. So, that I am going to get 5 square and 5 that is 5 cube multiplied by 9 is 3 square and 81 is 3 raised to 4. Okay. So, that comes out to be 5 cube and 3 raised to 6. So, over here value of x is what? 3. And what is the value of y? Value of y is 6. Now, I am going to have x raised to 2y minus 3x. Okay. So, x is nothing but 3 raised to 2y is 2 into 6 minus 3 into x is 3. So, what do we get over here? 3 raised to 12 minus 9, that is 3 cube, that comes out to be 27 is the answer. Option A.